Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and this is our chapter called Staying Warm. Energy conservation is what makes renewable energy viable. At the Alberta Research Council, they're applying solar energy in a whole new way. They're developing a product that promises to affordably reduce home heating energy demand in the typical Alberta home by 48%. Direct Heat Storage Solar System, or DHS, is a new paradigm in utilizing solar for heating buildings, or more accurately, preventing heat loss. Dr. Kaz Shimoha is the inventor. What is driving heat loss is temperature difference between inside and outside temperatures. So during winter time we have this difference temperature of order 40, 50 degrees C. Obviously doesn't matter how good wall is, there will be losses. In our case, we are changing situation. Our outside wall temperature is kept close to indoor temperature. If there is no temperature difference, there is no heat losses. The key is a thin layer of phase changing material, which melts and freezes like water, but at 28 degrees Celsius. Heat obtained from sun is melting our material, which is in the skin, and during this melting process, a lot of heat is stored in that material. When during the night temperature is going down, we have a solidification process. As a result of solidification, all that heat stored during daytime is released and keeping that, oh, I'm calling that buffer zone warm. Too little solar radiation will not be a major problem, but sometimes we have too much. Kaz is working on a system of automatic shutters for very sunny winter days. And in the summertime, this system will also cool the building. During last summer, well, on days like 29 degrees C, in typical house, the temperature was about 25 degrees C. In a solar system house, it was only 21. It's a futuristic scenario to imagine Alberta's neighborhoods transformed into rows of glass houses opening like flowers to receive the sun's energy. But eight years before demand for our natural gas is estimated to outstrip our production, there is an urgency to Kaz's work, especially as it applies to retrofitting existing buildings. We might see a big shift in terms of price for natural gas. Doubling is not even the problem. Tripling, quadrupling. So putting this new system on these old houses is exceptionally beneficial because the, the gain will be the highest and uh, this is feasible and affordable. Kaz is seeking funds to build two full-size houses he can test over one year. The Alberta Research Council and Alberta Innovation are funding the design of commercial DHS panels which could be manufactured here and distributed internationally. We have enough resources to uh, produce that for 1,000 countries like Canada. This episode of Made in Alberta was sponsored by the Alberta Research Council. Smart thinking, powerful solutions. Join us again as we explore other new ways that Albertans are developing and adapting new energy solutions for use here and around the world.